Good morning, we are here in London town, and I have a plan today. I want to go buy the 35mm RF lens and try to shoot some street photography. So we've whipped down to Oxford Street, and uh, Jody's doing Christmas shopping. I'm doing Christmas shopping too, for myself, <laughs> as I do. The beauty of not having friends is that you just spend all your money on yourself. Or yeah, me. or Jody. But mostly me. We're going, um, yeah, to the camera shop to buy the 35 millimeter f1.8 RF lens. It's a macro lens, and I think the macro designation has actually kind of scared some people off. I think that it could potentially be a really cool street photography lens just because it'll be smaller I'll be able to stick it on the mirrorless camera be less conspicuous <laughs> than the 5D Mark IV and like a big 85 millimeter or something like that so I think this will be good um, in practice I guess we'll see so we're gonna head to the camera store Okay, so I've got it. I've got the 35mm f1.8 RF lens by Canon. Uh, it's a prime lens. It's pretty simple. Cost me about 450 pounds, which is a little bit pricey. Definitely more pricey than it would have been stateside or down in South Africa. But I've got it. I'm excited about it. There's the control ring. I got no adapter. I'm straight on the EOS R. And yeah, pretty simple setup. I'm going to now head back to King's Cross and hopefully take some pictures. Moving forward on this video from now on, all the photos and all the B-roll is gonna be shot on the EOS R and on the 35 millimeter F1.8. So let's head back to King's Cross. Come back to King's Cross. I've left Jody to go hang out with some friends, and I'm gonna go take some pictures. I called this video street photography, but to be honest, I never go out and like plan on what I'm gonna shoot. I mean, that's, that's not true. I go out and plan what I wanna shoot, but when I go out and shoot street style, I don't think I'm just gonna shoot street style photos. I go out and think, okay, I'm gonna go try to make a couple cool photos. So King's Cross is busy. It's uh, beautiful, I think. Really interesting architecture, lots of interesting people around. And I'm just gonna wander around, shoot some B-roll with the RF 35 millimeter F1.8 by Canon, and hopefully get some cool pictures. So the wind and weather is the wind and weather is kind of picking up a little bit, but that's okay. I think maybe I've already gotten a photo I like, and I want to just talk quick about some thoughts on this. First of all, the focus. Everything looks really sharp. It does. It looks sharp, but 
I'm missing photos because I don't trust the autofocus yet. And that's more me than it is the camera. I trust my 5D Mark IV's autofocus system. I'm still learning the EOS R's autofocus system and it's taking a little bit of time to get used to it. So I'm missing shots just because I'm not being quick enough with the autofocus. Uh, the one thing, the one complaint I'm having so far is that the bokeh doesn't seem super great for an f1.8 lens and I know it's wide angle at 35 but it doesn't look as buttery and smooth as I think it should and I'm going to show you what I mean. There's a Christmas tree, a giant Christmas tree behind me. I'm going to get close to it or try to and try to get a shot that shows you what the bokeh on this lens looks like. And then I've got about 45 minutes until sunset so I'm going to wander around and see if I can get some more shots. So I'm obviously not much of a street photographer and definitely struggling, although I've kind of gotten over the struggle with the EOS R and with the 35 millimeter. As the days progressed, it's just become more and more comfortable. I'm shooting a mix of manual focus, autofocus. I'm using the control ring, which is an awesome aspect of the EOS R that I think is just wicked. They have that control ring. I've been using that control ring for two different things. I've shot it with ISO so I can manipulate the ISO real quick. And I've even been using it to control the aperture, which is awesome. So I'm loving it. I'm actually really enjoying this and I'm looking forward to getting places like the Philippines further on where I'm definitely going to put this to use and do a little bit more street and you know urban photography with it. Yeah, it's been fun so far. But yeah, the sun's coming down and I actually realized that the whole day I've been shooting this with the stabilizer off. So all that B-roll was just with the digital IS on the EOS R, which actually I now realize is off too, so totally unstabilized. And I'm not gonna add warp stabilizer or anything like that, but the clips moving forward, they'll all have the lens stabilization and digital IS on. So yeah, I think um, the plan now is to head over to the YouTube space here and get some work done for a little bit, meet up with Jody and then head out of town. Okay, I am back home uh, at Jody's parents' house <laughs> here in Kent, and I just want to talk quick about the 35mm f1.8 RF lens from Canon because I've now edited the photos, I've now seen them on the computer, and I feel like I can talk about them a little bit more. But before that, I want to say that that might have been the most fun I've had shooting photography in a really, really long time, and I think it was kind of just the way I filmed it. I had, uh, I put the vlogging camera in my camera bag, and I kind of just walked around taking pictures and then I'd take the vlogging camera out, the 5D Mark IV, to talk to the camera whenever I wanted to. So I wasn't restricted by having the vlogging camera. Usually I have two cameras attached to me and I just had the one. And it just made it simple and it made like shooting the pictures so much more of a photo taking experience rather than a video making experience where I also take pictures. And as a result, I think I got some cool photos. I walked around that area in London for a solid three hours just trying to grab images. And yeah, the video is called Street Photography in London. And I think I did some street photography in London, but maybe not like the typical run and gun, shoot from your hip style uh, street photography that a lot of people shoot. When I shoot street photography, I like to visualize a scene. I like to find a scene and then wait for people to walk into it. I like to find a scene and then let it develop. 
So I don't like to run and gun. I don't like to shoot from my hip. It doesn't feel like I've created anything. It kind of feels like I feel I got lucky when I do that. So I feel like my style is a little bit different. Obviously, I'm not a street photographer. I do it once a month, but it was fun. I had, yeah, I just had absolutely the best time shooting pictures today. Um, also, I want to talk about the lens a bit more now in detail now that I've gotten it home and now that I've edited the images. First of all, I think I was a little bit hard on the bokeh. I think the bokeh actually looks all right. I thought it looked a little bit weak, um, maybe even a little bit over sharpened, but I think that could have been the JPEG on the back of the camera kind of looking like that. When I got the raw files on, they looked much more buttery. Still not like unreal, not like a 35 millimeter F 1.4 L lens, but it did look good. One negative I did notice though, is there was some softness issues in the corner. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't the end of the world, but it was a little bit softer in the corners than I would have liked, but still definitely, definitely usable. And I like that focal length for street photography. I'm a big fan of 35 millimeter street photography. And I feel like most of the time when you're shooting that style, the corners are out of focus anyway because of the depth of field. So I don't think that's a big deal. I was uh, overall very pleased. It was light. The focus was fast. The focus was faster than I realized. So I kind of struggled with it because I didn't realize it was focused half the time. And it's sharp in the middle. The color contrast looks great. On the EOS R, the dynamic range looks amazing. It looks much better than I expected. And yes, the light was beautiful in London yesterday. We had kind of a half overcast with a little bit of light coming through. That was perfect. But the, the dynamic range looks great. I think with any more dynamic range, it kind of almost would have looked cartoonish. That, so it was really good. I'm very, very pleased with it. And overall, just excited to have another lens to play with. Um, I've always wanted a 35 millimeter prime. I finally have one and I'm gonna make good use of it. Moving forward, we're going to the Philippines in about a month. I'm gonna do some street photography in the Philippines with that 35 millimeter, I'm sure of it. We're heading to Iceland in a week. And in Iceland, if there's the chance of seeing Northern Lights, I think I'll probably put that prime lens on the Northern Lights as well if the situation arises. So there'll be more with the RF 35 millimeter coming up. There'll be more street photography and there's gonna be a ton of landscape photography as I'm heading to Scotland tomorrow and then Iceland. So yeah, lots of good fun stuff coming up on the channel and I guess I'll see you there. Peace.